Hi, my love, beautiful souls. This is Mystic Rules of Love and Eleven. I am back with you, bringing dark into light. Please take what resonates and leave it as not fit for somebody else. Collective ready, not for a Thank you to everyone liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. I love you and not be where I'm at. It's not for you guys in the world for the most high. So thank you so much. If you're new, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit that button, be notified. Thank you for the donations, super thanks, booking rooms with me, and purchasing products from me from my Etsy store. Thank you, thank you so much for that. Also, uh, thank you for just being here, okay, you guys? We reached 18,000 subscribers again, and I won't be here without you in the most high, so thank you so much for that. So, yeah, thank you. Okay, I was hearing snitching. I'm hearing uh, there's somebody in your group or family member or somebody that you're really close to is snitching on everyone, okay? Snitching on everyone. Somebody's snitching on everyone. They're talking. They're 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 spreading rumors, gossip, Um, also truth, okay? I am hearing truth, too, but they're snitching. Okay? They're telling every little bit. Secret, dirty secrets, gossiping, gossiping, government involved. So this person will be snitching to the government. Someone could be going to the government, okay, snitching, telling people's business info. Be careful, be careful, this is a rat, okay, sneaky alert, sneaky rat alert, okay, going behind your back, and yeah, caution, caution, okay, this person is not your friend, okay, this person is not your friend, you need to move forward, okay, get away from this. This person could be writing dirty or snitching to the police that you're writing dirty. Cartel. Snitching on the cartel. Snitching on the secret society. Okay. Somebody could have warned you about this person. I'm hearing somebody could have warned you. They're in an act of addiction. Somebody could have warned you that this person was snitching. I just keep hearing stitching on every single person. As long as they stay out of trouble, as long as they're not getting locked up. This person, even though they're snitching, I'm hearing they're going to get locked up still. They're going to have to do some kind of time. Okay, so whatever they were involved with, they have, they're going to have to do some kind of time. Spiritual court. Okay, spirit sees this. They could be in court for this, Okay. What's going on here? What's going on? I hated how I treated you. Huh. Now, because they're caught up, maybe somebody found out about this. Okay, there could be paperwork on this person snitching on everyone. Okay. Someone has seen some kind of paperwork. This person is lying and saying that they're not involved with this. Okay, they're not snitching, but somebody has some kind of hardcore evidence. This person's been snitching away. Right? This person's in paperwork. I'm not just hearing one person's paperwork. I'm hearing several paperworks. Okay, this person's karmic. Okay, they could be, uh, somebody's out to get them now, okay? Somebody could be out to get this snitch, okay? Their life is in danger now. Okay, somebody's snitching on a biker group, or say, like I said, biker group, secret cartel, secret society. Something about drying up, dry. be a dirty informant as well. A dirty snitch. Things that they tell on their people or other people that they're not gonna ever it's never gonna find out or they're not gonna like getting go to jail. Okay, thinking that um it's never gonna be outed. But it is. It gets out. If you snitch okay, if you snitch on somebody, if you're an informant, you snitch on somebody and like it goes to trial, okay? Before trial, you won't know, okay? If somebody got snitched on, okay? So, like, I took mine almost to trial, okay? When I got... Okay, this is an example, guys. I'm going to use what I have People snitched on me. My own uncle snitched on me, okay? My uncle and one of my so-called best friends that I knew for a very long time, okay? That I trusted. Gave her my car, gave her my house, like, like, my house, everything. So much, okay? When I got my paperwork that I was snitched on and I was getting first degree sales okay selling a balls to them okay eight balls when I got my paperwork they have to give you your paperwork and I knew who it was because it told me it told me like where the location was and what time it was and where it was I remembered okay and when I got snitched on I won them with my uncle I was by myself and that when when I was stitched on by my ex-friend I was with my husband he was my boyfriend at the time my husband at the time Okay, and it was a public parking lot, and it was at Poe's Mentor in front of Target, and, you know, 
she didn't want to get high with me that time, okay? And my uncle didn't want to get high. That's one other thing, too. I didn't, you know, didn't put didn't put two, two together until I read my paperwork, okay, you guys? The reason I'm telling you this because this could help somebody out. This could help somebody out um, in the situation, okay? I did wrong. I did do it. I was guilty of the crime, okay? I will not lie. I was guilty of the crime. I, I did it, okay? There's no way around it. I did it, okay? I was selling. I got lost my job. Everything my life was falling apart. I was trying to make my money. I was trying to provide for myself, okay? And I was doing it to the people I knew, okay? So, I... People told me this girl was a snitch, and people told me my uncle was a snitch. But I'm like, oh, no, they were not going to snitch on me. They're close to me. They're my, my family. It's my blood. It's my friend. It's my so-called best friend. They're not going to do it, okay? I tr And I, I was told, like, that's what I'm saying. is like somebody told me, okay? Somebody came and told me this, okay? And I didn't want to believe it. And when I got the paperwork, you guys, it tells you details, details. doesn't give you the name, okay? It does not give you the name of the person. It gives you an OID number, or not an OID number. A confidential number, okay? A confidential informant number, a CIA number or whatever, however it's called. Confidential informant. CIA number, okay? CIA number, okay? It does not give you the name. But a lot of times when people snitch, like, they'll snitch when there's a group of people around, so you can't pinpoint the one, like, the, the snitch, okay? You can't. And that's what I'm getting out of this one, too. This one, most likely, okay, that's why I'm going to talk about this. This situation, this snitch could not, okay, so this snitch was being smart, Okay? was snitching on people when there's a group of people around, like, you know what I mean, cartel group of people, where there's more than, uh, probably more than three, four people, okay? So you, like, cause two people, you maybe even figure it out, okay? I'm here in the group, oh my god, deja vu. I have deja vu. I remember all this, this point, wow. I feel like I recorded this before. Holy moly. I'm listening to Reiki healing meditation, wow. Okay. Let's get back to talk. Wow, you guys, I just literally remember, like, this was deja vu. Somebody's name is too. Okay, so, in my situation, it was, like I said, my uncle was just my uncle. I was just me and my uncle, and the friend was me and my, hu my husband, okay, in a parking lot, okay? My other one was at my house, so it, it, it reads out in the, OID, the OID number, okay? So that came out, or the CIA number came out in detail when it came. So they couldn't tell me who it was. Okay, so when I started going to my court cases, I was trying to fight it, and I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Then they're like, oh, we have evidence, we have the recording, we have the voice video, okay? We have the, vi they had the video of me, and they had the voice recording on me, okay? Um, and the paperwork, and I knew, I knew, but I was, I, I told my lawyer, yes, I know what happened, I, I yes, it was me. And I'm like, he's like, we're going to try to fight this, because she, the both people, both the people that used, did it, they both are IV users, okay? I was never an IV user, I didn't shoot up. They both were IV, IV users, and they also smoked dope, okay? They would get high. And at both times, they did not get high at that moment, okay? But what was crazy is she got high with me before we met up to meet. And then later on, she came and met with me and got more stuff from me and got high with me. So when I met her at the parking lot, she got the stuff to bring to the cops, but didn't get high with me. But then later on, she got she actually got an ounce from me later on, okay? She got an ounce from me later on, but high with me. And took my, let me have my car. I gave her my car. My uncle was the same way, okay? The reason I'm telling you this, because this could be significant to somebody, okay? This is my life. This, hap this really happened. And... Um, so I, I did see something that was a little bit weird because she get, usually get high with me and stuff like that, but she didn't. Okay. So when we were fighting it, I was sitting there, it was like my ominous, ominous hearing, whatever. And like, he's like, let's, I'm like, let's take a shot. He's like, yeah, we're going to take the shot because he's like, she's an active user. Okay. She was using it with you. You were, you were letting her, you, she was staying at your house. She had your car, she, da, 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 your uncle, blah, 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 blah. This is a conflict and all this stuff. Okay. So he was really fighting the case for me. Okay. Cause I still was still fighting my other case. I was still fighting my third, my third degree um paraphernalia actually was like it was supposed to be fifth grade but they brought it up to third degree because it was in school zone i had six grams on me so i was still fighting that i haven't pled guilty to that charge yet okay i haven't pled guilty to that charge i'm still fighting that one okay and so i didn't get arrested for this church that was happening because they were still there it was like hidden and they're trying to keep it under the wraps you know and so the crazy thing is only reason i know like who the name was is because of the situation okay but it got even crazier the prosecutor came in and decided to give me a plea deal, okay? You guys, the prosecutor came in and gave me a plea deal and said, hey, we will bring this down to fifth degree and not selling because of the fact that she was da -da -da, using all this stuff, everything else, and everything was lining up and all this other shit. Uh, we'll give this to you, but you have to plead out to this other one as this, fifth degree two, and you'll be on probation for 20 years. And you, um, you'll get a stay of adjudication once you complete probation, Okay, you have this day of adjudication which won't show up in your background, you won't be a convicted felon if you take this deal now. 
but this is going to close out. Like, we're going to shut, like, this is going to be a shutdown case. Like, we're going to close, we won't have to take a trial. But, like, if we take it to trial, this is what I'm saying. If we take it to trial, your, the informant that did these buys on you will have to testify against you. You will get to know who the, the person is. Because right now, like, he's saying that you don't know. I didn't know. I did know because I remember the moment, everything that happened. Okay? But if we go to court, what's going to happen is this, both people would have to testify. Okay, that means they both have to be sober at that time of testifying. Okay, they, they and I would get to know my accuser or whatever, however it was, yeah, accuser, as accuser, I would get to know who set me up for sure, 100% sure, okay? Because when you go to trial, they have to testify because they're the ones that did the buy on you, okay? So you, these informants are not always safe. That's what I'm trying to get. These informants are not always safe, so this snitch is not always safe. If somebody wants to truly take it to trial and don't want to take a plea deal, that snitch is going to have to stand on... Uh, on trial and testify get on stand and testify and that person then people are going to know about it so what i was getting on this situation you guys was this snitch is snitching when there's like five six seven eight ten people around like a group of people snitching on people okay so you really can't pinpoint it and so when you go to trial before you go to trial this person would not be able to know unless they take it to trial okay that's what i'm getting at something about taking it to trial okay all the trial crazy thing is you guys we're going back to my little story is we went into the court. I was going to plead guilty to this. You know what I mean? I'm like, because I knew I did wrong. I was wrong, you guys. I was. I was wrong. I did it. I own up to it. I did. You know, but I was trying to get a better deal. Okay? And then my lawyer knew what happened too. I was trying to get a better deal. Okay? And they had me. They had me on recording. You know what I mean? And fucked up thing is, they screwed up so bad, you guys. This is a great story. They screwed up. And I'm going to give you guys the name. Okay? I'll give you the name. We went into court. And I went to go plead. The prosecutor got up and said, Anna, said her fucking name right there. And I had two people with me that came with me to court and they were surprised. I, I kept telling them, I'm like, I'm like, it's Anna, it's Anna, it's Anna. I know it was Anna. I know it was Anna. Okay. And they're like, no, no, it wasn't. I'm like, I it was Anna. I know it was Anna. It was at Cole's mentor. It was with my ex-husband or with my husband. I'm like, I know. And another one is my uncle, you guys. His name is um Butch, okay? Butch, Dennis Butch, okay? Dennis Nelson. If you really want to know, his other one is Dennis Nelson, okay? Um, that They didn't say his name at that one, but they said Anna. And the prosecutor fucked up. He said, oh, shit. My bad. Like, he didn't say square. He's like, Anna. And then the judge, like, he's like, oh. And he stopped for a minute. Because he even said the last name. I'm not going to say the night last name, you guys. I won't say the last name, okay? Um. So, uh... Hold on. I gotta check this out, this message, because uh, Cherry's ain't here right now. She's at a friend's house, so I have to check this, you guys. I'm gonna get Cherry about 7. I have that stuff for you, too. Okay, sorry. I had to get, because I had to get Cherish, you guys. It, um, she went to a friend's house for a day. For a bit. Okay, so, um, they said her name, and when we left, the, so I still pled guilty, and they made a mistake. That prosecutor made a mistake, and I that's where my confirmation. And it was so I was so glad that I had two people with me that were friends with the girl that do not want to believe me that it was her. And when they walked out, they're like they were so struck that like they accidentally it's like he slipped and said her name, and, and then my paperwork it does not say her name because it says something about two Anna would have they, they they what they said is Anna would have to testify, and we're gonna give this deal because they said her name is because she is an active user. Okay, so that's how they gave me that. That's why the prosecutor actually brought it down is because she was an active user and she did a buy on me. Okay, she snitched on me. Okay, so somebody could be an active user with this addictions as well. Okay, for you. But what, like I said, this person is snitching on everybody in the group, but not knowing. Okay, so if they're snitching, this group of people, if there's five, six people, there's five, six people have to figure out between four of these people who was doing it until they go to trial. Okay, so this is this is a shady, shady situation. Um, you really can't trust anybody. That's when I realized I cannot trust any single, like, I still, I still hung out with people, I still did it, but that's when I really, like, couldn't trust, like, people, like, and then to find out later on, my other, my other ex-best friend that I was so close to that I was actually getting the drugs for was the one that was betraying me the worst, gaslighting me, bullying me, manipulating me, okay, causing me in a loop, having a big illusion and stuff, stuck, um, the whole time, so be careful. Because you don't know, like, you do, but you don't know, like, guts. Like, it, there, it, there's just a lot of shasty stuff, shasty stuff going on here, okay? Yeah, and that, you guys, that's a real story. 
Real story. And I got paid down. I got 20 years probation. I got my first degree sales down because that would happen. Like, she, it was a control buy. She, she's an IV user. I didn't use, like, you know what I mean? Like, come on, you just had an IV user just do a buy on me and then come and get high with me later on. And you get more dope from me. And she didn't get all the, you know what I mean? Like, and the money. And she didn't give all the money to him either. I gave her more money. She told me, about, like, and I don't know how she got away with that because it was recorded. So I don't know how that happened. Um, and the money and the same thing. And they show you the money. It's all, they, they track the money. Okay, so she gave me the money and they had the, they, like, they, they, they show me this stuff and everything. Like, they, 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 they write the code numbers down, okay? They write everything down, you guys. So I had a really good lawyer. Really good lawyer. So it was a public defender and he was, he actually has his own private law and somehow I, Spirit gave me a good lawyer to get out of this, fight this, because my other light lawyer wasn't giving me anything. So when they gave me a different lawyer, like, yeah, I am off probation now, you guys. I didn't have to do the 20 years. I cleaned my act up. I got sober. I got cleaned and moved away. I ended up having to do three and a half years um, because I didn't get any new charges in that time. And I completed all my stuff I had to complete. And I literally changed my whole life and I got pregnant. Like, I changed my whole life. So they actually released me really super early. Super, super early because of it. I got lucky. I got lucky to my most high. Now, that's why I was praying and manifesting, okay? Miracles can happen, okay? They can happen, and that, that's what I wanted, is just to and not be a convicted felon, okay? But if I, this is the thing, if I ever get in trouble again, you guys, if I ever get a new charge, okay, for stealing, for drugs, or even a fifth-degree paraphernalia, if I got fifth-degree paraphernalia, those charges that got dropped on fifth-degree will go up to a felony. They'll go back to felonies where I'll be a convicted felon, Okay, I can get a speeding ticket. They said that speeding ticket, like those little minor like speeding tickets, but anything off, anything else, that will bring back like I will be a convicted felon for the rest of my life. So I got lucky. I I screwed up. I made mistakes. I owned my actions. I pled guilty. I did my I did my time. I moved on. I'm telling my story, but this shit like here, yeah. But this is dangerous too. This is this is snitching on cartel. Like this, and do you know the thing is, she was at a, she was an informant for a very long time. My husband, my ex, my uh, my uncle was too. Okay, and I don't, I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to believe my uncle would do it to me. I didn't want I didn't want to believe that my uncle would do it to me. And he did. So be careful. This person snitching on everybody and anybody. Okay, stolen money. Could have been stealing money as well. Last reading, why I got this downloaded, and the last reading, it said snitch and bitching, so it did come out in the last reading, so if you go watch that about Illusionist, um, it did come out, and that's where I got the download. I was hearing it in my head, but I didn't want to, like, put it out in the last reading. So. Karma's, look at Karma's a friend, ex-friend, so this could be an ex-friend of yours, Karma's a bitch. And you see, sober, you could have got sober. Okay, As, that energy could be mine to collect it from now, okay? I'm part of it, too. Criminal charges. Okay, this person's literally getting people criminal charges. Okay, this person's getting... Um, people are getting charged after charge after this, this person. This person's going to have to testify, okay? Because I'm hearing somebody's going to take this to trial. Okay, I am hearing this This snitch is is going to have to testify. It's going to go It's going to go to full trial. Somebody's going to go to trial. Somebody's really going to fight this case. Rabbit hole. They had cool intentions for you. Somebody's like, I'm fighting this case. Like, I'm going to fight this. I want to know who my accuser is. See, some people will literally take this to trial to know who their accuser is. Because if you take it to trial, you get to know who your accuser is. You get to know who the person is. And that's what I'm hearing. They, this person may know that they're going to be guilty and they may get more time, but they don't give a fuck. Okay, I, I just heard that, okay? I'm hearing this person is taking a trial. They they may not even give a fuck because of the fact that they know they're going to get time no matter what. And maybe it's five years less if they plead guilty to a crime, whatever. They know that if they take it to trial, they're going to get five years more. But they then know who their accuser is. Okay? They know who set them up. They get their they get their paperwork. They get to see the person right there. Okay? And that's why the prosecutors usually will want to give you a plea deal. Because they don't want to take a trial. Trial is very, very, very expensive. So they can try to give you a plea deal. But this person's like, ah, nope. I'm not taking that plea deal. You're going to take me to trial. You're going to take me all the way there. I don't care. I want to know who this person is. I want this person to testify. I want to see who this snitch is. That's what I'm hearing. This person wants to know who the stitch is. Bounty. Could be an evil couple. You are stronger than your enemies. Cleaning house. 
get ready, something big is about to happen. Yeah, see, cleaning house, getting rid of this stuff. That's what they're probably supposed to do in this niche thing. They're cleaning house, getting rid of people, getting people, losing control. Okay, so I actually see both points. I, I, uh, I see it. Like, I got myself into it. I can't hate her. You guys, if, if you want to know, I don't hate my aunt. I mean, I don't hate Anna, and I don't hate my uncle. I don't hate them. I used to resent them. I used to want to retaliate for a minute, and I used to be really mad at them. But I put that on myself. The reason I got the buys and it happened to me is because I committed the crime. I sold drugs to people that, no matter what, I sold drugs and I committed the crime. And so that's one thing I know I did wrong, okay? I know I did wrong. So I don't hate them. I'm not mad at them anymore. I've already forgiven them. Did I forget the action? No, like I feel like it's still a really shitty deal, but it's done and over with. It's it's in the past, past be bygones. Um, do I talk to them? No, I don't talk to them. I don't trust them. But it's done and over with, and they did it to me. And if I wouldn't have been doing that, that wouldn't have happened to me. I wouldn't have got in trouble. If I wouldn't have been using drugs, if I wouldn't have been selling drugs, I wouldn't have been in that situation. I put myself in a situation, and I know. That's the thing is I know my own consequences, like my actions to my consequences, and I deal with it. I, I, I deal with it, okay? I handle it. Like, I handle the business. I don't... I couldn't get up in line and stand anyways, you guys. I couldn't. I really couldn't. Like, if it came to... If I had to go to trial, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I couldn't lie. I couldn't lie to the judge. Because the first time when they say, did you do it not? Not guilty. Plead guilty. You're going to plead not guilty. You know what I mean? I couldn't. Couldn't do it. There could have been a corrupt cop involved in this as well. See somebody taking a jury trial. That came... Wow. Lie detector test, polygraph. Like I just said, like, I couldn't even lie. Fishing for information. They can be fishing for information. They're wearing a wiretap, okay? They're recording. Okay, so they're wearing something. It could be on their... You guys, snitches can... They wear it on their, on their stomach. They wear it on watches. They wear it... They're in their phones. Then their jewelry. Their rings. Their necklaces. Their their sunglasses. Um, pens. Okay, their their hats. They, they have cameras everywhere, okay? You can, you can get this little kid in cameras... At Walmart now, or on Amazon, or even Temu, okay? They put them in everything now. You're stepping up your game, and look at somebody's gonna be subpoenaed. Okay, yeah, they'll be subpoenaed. They'll have to testify. And convulsion and devil. This was, yeah, uh, devil made them do it, okay? Devil, somebody was compulsed to do something. Time's up. See, time's up. Somebody wants to know. Like I said, somebody wants to know who their accuser was. The person that involved them in this situation. Oh, spirit. Somebody could be obsessed with you, or obsessed. They could be obsessed with um, stitching on people. Somebody could be uh, escaping this situation. This could be a sister. Okay. Shine bright like a diamond. That doesn't belong in there, but shine like bright like a diamond. Look at this friend is your snitch, so-called friend. Could be a co-worker. Could be somebody from school. You solved your own case. That could be why that came out. You solved your own case. See, inside, inside job. Truth is being revealed, okay? Truth is going to be revealed. You're getting this new beginning. This snitch is, uh, is okay. This snitch is confidential. It's it's or um confidential, but um also like brings truth. Okay, but it also could be lying to other people, lying to you, but bringing truth to the police officers. Mom, what? Huh? What are you? Getting? What kind of I was gonna ask you to get milk. That's all. Can you get milk at Quick Trip when you come back? Or are you getting? Are you? Are you going to fried? 
Oh, yeah, you don't have to carry that if you really want. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. This could be your cousin. Okay, so a cousin could snitch on somebody as well. Distant relative. I gave Cherish at seven. Distant relative. Okay, it could be distant relative. They could have been stealing money as well from you. And look at deception. People trusted this person. Okay? This person was lying to you. This person was betraying you. But then they were going to the authorities. Okay? I'm going to put this over right now. Um, let's see. Damn it. Drugs, poison involved. There's a confirmation for somebody. That's fair. In the neighborhood. This could be happening in the neighborhood. Imprisonment. Imprisonment for a prison. Somebody could be doing prison time. Because of this. Somebody, like I said, this, this, somebody's okay going in prison. Fraud. Yes. This is the truth. Yes. This person stitching on you. Yes, the person you're thinking of. It's the, yes, it's that person. Okay. Missing pieces. Okay, somebody, somebody's trying to figure out a missing piece. Puzzling something together. Putting something together. The neighborhood. What I mean, the neighborhood is like a group of people. Okay, that's what I mean. The neighborhood. This could have been a group of people. All hanging out. You could be healing from the situation now. Man-made disaster. Something to be on social media. This person was keeping secrets from you. Somebody can be dating a snitch too. So that's a different reading coming out. A different energy. Burial. Ending. Okay, this is an ending. One more. Thank you. Blackmail. And this person was pure evil. Pure evil. You guys, I can't say that... The, okay, was it when I got... When this happened to me... I can't say that they're like... Yeah, they're evil. They're, I still felt... They, okay, those people are evil. But still... It was... They were just trying to get out of their charge. They were just trying to... You know what I mean? Like, they were trying to get out of something. They were doing... Like, informants have a place in this, this planet too. You know? That's a purpose for them too. And so... You know... The cops need to pick get bad guys off the street. So I, you know, I, I can't look at it a bad thing anymore. I can't look at it a bad thing. Like, I really can't. And if you're wondering, like, my opinion about the situation too is like, if anyone else was snitched on, if you're the one that's being snitched on, especially if it's somebody did drugs and committed crime and you were committing some kind of crime, I'm sorry, but you know, you did the, you did the, you did the crime. You, you know, went against the law. You broke the law. Okay. Uh, you have to own up to that, okay? So I'm about owning up to it and realizing that so you can move forward, okay? And those people that are informants that snitched on you, okay, they have to live with that too, okay? They have to live with that, that they betray people, okay? So I, I literally look at both sides. I feel bad for the person that was snitched on and then, like, I feel bad for the, the snitch too. Like, they did it because they're trying to get in trouble, but then, like, they're going to have to deal with that for the rest of their life, okay? Especially if somebody finds out that they're snitching, and they could, it could cause them their life, okay? Because when people find out people snitch, cartel will go after people, okay? So, again, but there's a purpose for these snitches as well, and purpose for informants. There's a place for them so they can get bad guys off the streets. So, I, I don't take sides on it, okay? I don't. And if you look at it, I was snitched on. And I can't hate the people that snitched on me. I really cannot hate on them because I committed the crime.
Okay, that's what I'm trying to get is I committed a crime. I know some of you guys aren't going to like that, but when you actually wake up and you heal and you see things and you ascend, you own up to your mistakes, you own up to your consequences, you you see what you put into the universe and everything like that. And like, I know what I did wrong. I'll admit my faults. And then when you admit the faults is when you're able to heal and you're able to ascend, you're able to actually grow when you can actually own up to your mistakes and take accountability. I took accountability. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm trying to say is I took accountability for my actions. These snitches, they didn't really take accountability. Okay? They didn't take full accountability ability because of the fact that they're trying to get out of something and, you know, they're trying to get out of it. But also, if you don't have any snitches, you don't have any informants, how are you going to get these bad guys off the street? How are you going to get these people stop selling drugs, murdering people, killing people, doing, you know, trafficking? So how are you going to do that too? So, again, looking at both ways, both sides, okay? There's two sides to everything. It's not black and white. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. It's not black and white. You can't just say one is bad and one's not the other, you know? I know some of you guys don't like what I have to say about that. I know I'm hearing you guys don't like that. Some people don't like that. Okay, this person's hidden in plain sight. Age between 40 and 50. They have illegal protection. Okay, they're protected. Okay, the snitches are being protected. Whether this person's taking a trial, like I said, this person's taking a trial, you know, you have a right to do that still, to see who your accuser, accuser is, that's why. So even if you're guilty, I'm hearing if, you are, if you're taking a trial, even if you're guilty, um, you have a right to see who, you know, who your accuser is, who, who snitched on you, you do. Everyone has a right, that's what I'm trying to say, okay? And you can win your case. I'm hearing somebody could still win their case even though they're, they're guilty. Somebody could win their case even though they're guilty because this accuser, you know, when they find out something else out, this accuser could have been doing something too illegally. Crime cover-up, like I said, crime cover-up, hiding evidence, secrets, hiding, having outside help. Above the law, controlling security, law, reckless, God complex. And sometimes that's what happens, too. These, these snitches, these informants, they think that they're above the law, okay? They think they can snitch on somebody, and then they can go and commit a crime, too. And it's not how it should be, okay? It's not how it works. God sees all. Dealing with the devil, okay? Misunderstood, not sorry, sorry, confusion, clouds, misdirected, misinterpreted. I'm hearing it through... The spiritual realm right now. Somebody does not like me. Um, somebody doesn't like me saying that. Don't be mad at snitches. They snitch on me. They got me in trouble. I am hearing that. Somebody doesn't like me saying that. Well, that's my opinion, my perspective, and that's I have feeling. I have. I. I can feel what I feel. Okay, I can feel what I feel. You can feel what you feel too. Okay, it's wrong for snitches, but it's also like if you do something wrong, and you're guilty of it. You gotta own up to it. You gotta take accountability. That's what I'm trying to get at. Okay, so you need to take accountability too. Forty documents, signatures, fraud, checks, receipts, lease, contracts, and we have zero to ten. So they come in zero to ten people. It's a zero to eight, ten age, but I'm hearing zero to ten people. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna do some names and then close this out. Ah. Oh. I took 24. Area 51, Nevada military base. Cali, Grandma Violet, Grandma or Violet. I'm doing a lot of prayers, spending time at altar. You can be praying, spending time at altar. Annika, Annika, father. There's a father. Trick or treat, somebody's tricking somebody. Okay, they're tricking somebody. Felicia. Somebody's horny. Limestone. We have great grandma, great grandpa. Okay, we have great grandpa, then Petrock. We have Petrock. Las Vegas. So great grandpa. Malachi. Las Vegas. Cody. We have Stefan. You're a natural good person. Local police. Centerville. North Carolina. White boy. Industrial area. 
This could be happening in an industrial area. Sprinter. Okay, there could be a sprinter outside watching. Recording. Slippery. Turtles. Turtles could be, could be a nickname or something. Turtles could be significant. Deshaun. Coatman. Bob. Cave. Adam. Wood. Nelson. That's crazy. My uncle's last name came out. That's crazy. Nelson. Your prayers will come true. Be patient. Your life will get better. Rocio. South Africa. Convertible. Law and Order. Markovich. Larian Starseed. Oldest Soul Cat Like. You could be that. Full Moon Energy. Sonic. Elba. Insurance. Okay, insurance. Love, love, love. Wally. Meadow. Hugo. We belong together now. And someone's like a virgin. Someone's new. Someone's a virgin. Someone doesn't have sex. Absent. Celibate. If you want to, I'm going to take three of these, you guys. Black web, dark web. So make them involved in black web, dark web. Obstruction to justice. This devil is a female. Let's get one more. One more spirit. Got two more, I guess. Somebody's a spy. Sleeper spy. And a DNA test kit or evidence, okay? DNA test kit evidence. Okay, so make them an informant or snitching to the DEA. DEA, okay? So make them snitching right to the DEA. Drug Enforcement Administration. Let's close this out. Drugs may be an important factor in this case. Okay, a clue. Factor. Okay. Jealousy of affair. Jealousy in affair or love related time. I'm here, Melissa. Killer just passing through the area. Somebody's passing through the area. Somebody's traveling. This could be a train, too. I'm hearing Maya. Chris, I'm hearing... 42-42. Just heard Sean again. Act on your intuitions. Believe in yourself and make your own choices and compassion and confidence. Believe in your own self, compassion and confidence. Leo, Libra, Aries, Gemini, and number nine. Leo, Libra, Aries, Gemini, number nine. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, healing, namaste.